Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so I know it's been a little while. I haven't done a video and I apologize. Like I really got to get it together. But you know, we've been going through a lot, you know, as a country. And um, it is what it is. But I'm back. So what I'm going to do is I haven't done a video since the last week of March. So what I'm going to do, because my OCD won't let me just like catch up or start off with August. Because then you won't know what the hell sold, you know, the rest of the time. So this is going to be a pretty long video. I have two, actually, because I do sell on Poshmark as well as Macari. And eBay, that'll be a whole nother video because I ain't messing with that no more. Not. It's too much. Question and answer series. I can't do it. So we're going to start off with this here, uh, Poshmark. Okay, no particular order. Remember, it's just the last week of March up until today, which is... Um, August 3rd and bear with me because it's hot as hell in here today's the day we got this hurricane or whatever was going on outside and I was playing myself with the AC and the light started flickering so I decided to sit here so I might be sweating a little bit but it's all good. better than being in the dark okay all right so here we go again no particular order but let's get it going so the first thing to sell was this pair of black biker jeans in a size 30 I sold them for 13 the next i oh let me just say this i'm not going to discuss cost of goods anyone that sells on posh or macari you know the deal poshmark takes 20 percent. it is what it is if the per, if the item is under 15 they take three dollars 295 anything over 15 20 percent. not going to discuss cost of goods just know i've been doing this long enough through trial and error i've learned to try to keep that as low as possible Okay, so at the end, I will try to calculate everything and let you know how much I made um, prior to the fees and cost of goods and, and so forth. Okay, just like a rough number. All right, and um, let's get it going. So let's start over. So the first thing is going to be this black. It was a pair of black biker jeans in a size 30. Those sold for $13. Next up is a pair of Joe's X Lover distressed crop jeans in a size 28 um those sold for 20 dollars then we had a pair of levi's 501 men's jeans in a size 34 sold that for 15 i'm actually trying to get rid of all my men's stuff like i i don't like it like i'm in love with selling women's clothes not only women's clothes but plus size women's clothes i i just feel excited when I photograph this I feel excited when they ask me questions and when they bundle things and when they buy things and I know that I've made them happy because it's a lot harder for us to find clothes versus you know the the normal people you know nothing against them but you know so I'm basically trying to phase out my closet you know and just deal with the plus size because that's what I want to do that's what I started off with in the beginning you know um that's why my name is 40 plus. I cater to people that are over 40 and that are plus size. That's what I like. So I fell into this whole reseller thing where it's, oh my God, anthropology, pick it up. Free people, pick it up, you know? And just not even, like I, I fell out of love with what I was doing because I was just chasing brand. I don't care about brand. I care about style and making people happy. So that's what I'm gonna get back into. All right, so moving right along. Next up, I had a pair of Levi's white oak denim uh, button fly jeans in a size 32. Those sold for $25. Then a cabbie razorback tank that sold for $25 in a, in a very pretty blue color. Next up was a bundle of clothes that I was trying to shake. And um, that was a J. Crew dress a Everly floral dress, a Madewell striped dress that I couldn't give away, and a Lush romper. So somebody came and bundled them all and she offered me $14. I was like, with pleasure. You want a box or a poly mail? You know? So I let that go. Next up is a pair of athletic shorts that sold for $22. Then we have a Motley Crue tort t-shirt that sold for $15. Victoria's Secret Pink uh, Plunge Bra, a red color, very, very sexy bra, that went for 22 
H&M floral skater dress. H&M floral skater dress. Stale inventory that I let go for $5. Next up, I had a very pretty Lane Bryant kind of boho, bohemian style uh, paisley top in a size 24. Um, that sold for 30 the same day, probably within an hour or two. I had also listed this. This was another Lane Bryant piece, boho style. It had a puff, it had kind of like puff sleeves to it. That sold for $30 as well, and that was a size 28. Next up was a bundle of band tees, vintage band tees. One was a Van Halen 1995, and the second was a Rolling Stone 1999 that a woman came in and bundled together. Uh, she said her daughter picked them out and she wanted them. So I let those go for 55. Next up was a pair of Paige Skyline Skinnies. Those sold for 22. Then I had two authentic, two authentic Ankara skirts that I bundled together because they were very small, beautiful, but small. And I had been holding on to them for a while. So I bundled them together and somebody purchased them for $15. She was very, very happy. Next up was a gorgeous, gorgeous plus size nightgown and robe set. Ugh, oh, was this thing fantastic. Anyway, it was a size 4X. The, I had it up for 65. The young lady offered me 45. I'm like, are you kidding me? This is two pieces. The robe alone is worth 50 bucks. She said, okay. So we went back and forth. She got me on a good day. I was in between margaritas. So I let that go for 55. And she was very happy. She was ecstatic. Because I know I tried to fit it. It was too big. And if I was a 4X, I would have loved that. It was, it was gorgeous. Anyway, I digress. Next up is a vintage medallion pendant um, with a um, beaded necklace that went for $22. Then I had a plus size 4X sequence tweed style blazer that went for 25. A fashion to figure, animal print cardigan. Oh, this thing was gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. It was a size uh, 2X, I think, either 1X or 2X. And that sold for 45, asking price. She didn't say a word. She just, poof, it was gone. Okay, next up was a pair of Nike Air Vapors which I had acquired pretty cheaply like two years ago and they were just lingering. I don't know if it's because they was orange and gray, but anyway, somebody offered me 39. I took it. Next up was a T-Rex Warrior graphic band tee that sold for 22. I listed these two torrid beautiful lingerie pieces the same day. They sold within 30 minutes. That's torrid lingerie does. I don't know what it is, but everybody's like looking for that. Um, so I figured I'd get about 25 for each piece. They were in great condition. I think maybe worn once. So one was a mesh baby doll. The other one was a kind of like razor back, both pink and black. So somebody came in, bundled them both, offered me $50. Like what else? Like what else was I waiting for? All right. So she, she took that. It is what it is. Um, next up was a... I have no idea what I wrote. Oh, is a um, four-piece bundle. This was a purple shark tail top. Oh, this top was phenomenal. It was gorgeous, just stunning. So that sold, that was a 3X. She also put with it an animal print sequence top that was a 3X and a purple boho top. Also 3X. She threw this, I don't know how to say this, caftan, caftan, wine robe is what I call it. The lounge robe. She threw that in and she took it out. And I had to let her know, so listen, why you take that robe out? Like, that is a sexy robe. Like, I don't really know much about your lifestyle, but like, if anybody's coming over and you just want to lounge and be sexy, drinking your wine, this is it. So she put it back in the bundle. And we came up with $80. So that bundle went for $80. I was very happy. She was very happy. Next up was a uh, Torrid size 36 C caged bra that I bought for myself. That was too tight. That went for 
Then we had a YouTube Joshua Tree Vintage Tee 1987 that went for 22. Another Tory bra, size 38, triple D. Uh, it was very pretty navy blue and black that went for $20. A Robert Graham top, um, size XL, that went for 18. BDG Super High Waisted Shorts, those went for 20. Um, a Kashyyyk Floral, size 26, 28, lingerie piece that was gorgeous. Um, I'm not sure what that went for, but it'll be on the screen. I think that went for like 20 or 25, I don't remember. Next up is a The Who Men's Graphic Tee that went for 35. That was a straight sale. No struggle with that. Next up, we have a Free People Beach Maxi Dress slash cover up that went for $20. Okay, that takes care of that page. Then we have a LuLaRoe Floral Amelia Dress in a size 3X that went for 12. Susan Graver. Size 3X yellow floral top that went for 10. Then we had a bundle. It was a red Carly dress in a size 3X and also a LuLaRoe green top. Um, I believe that was also a 3X. That was also a 3X. And I added an extra piece because she, she was just a sweetheart. And I got so much LuLaRoe, I can't breathe. So I threw a shirt in there for her as well she's very happy that bundle went for 33 dollars next up was a russell kemp duster in a size 44 um that went for 20 dollars again and this person gave me a four star like to be honest with you i'm not trying to powder my own puff but i usually get five stars i think i've gotten maybe three four stars my entire poshmark career like the nerve of you i mean after i gave you this thing for 20 dollars you gonna turn around and give me four stars talking about some shipping? Do you know what's going on in the world? You lucky you got that package. Anyway, I digress. Um, next up, Fashion Over bondage dress went to my regular one of my regulars for uh twenty dollars. It was a size one X. Pearl Jam T shirt, let that go twenty five dollars. Gotta bear with me because I don't know what I done wrote on this piece of paper. Next up, we had a uh, a bundle. It was a, a faux squash blossom and an aqua color necklace. It was a uh, brown squash blossom necklace that came with earrings, also faux. And a kind of leather moto bracelet, gothic bracelet. She bundled all of that together and $45 she took that. Next up, uh, plus size, size 4X. I saw a studded hoodie uh, a hoodie sweatshirt oh this sweatshirt was so cute it was really nice it was black with like some some silver studs and stuff on it it was it was gorgeous that was a size 4x went to another regular customer um twenty dollars next up is a ula popkin fish top it was jet black but it had like a little fish on one of the sides um that was a size 30 obviously plus size that went for 15 Next up is a pair of Free People Distressed Shorts in a size 30. Those sold for 14. An H&M black dress with some floral stuff on it. Let that go for five. Bad buy. I literally had that like three years. Like, that's when you first start. You know what you're doing. Um, next up was a, another bundle. It was a uh, graphic tees. It was t it was two men's t-shirts. One was a um, Misfits. Black Mits black misfits t-shirt with the skull on it and also a nirvana graphic uh t-shirt gentlemen bundled them both asked me what i do 35 no problem they was both size small anyway uh next up was a free people dress went let i let that go for 15 and i'm making a lot of mistakes and i'm really kidding. i'm not going crazy over this um this editing because it takes too long i got stuff to list i ain't got time for this so i'm gonna just try my best you know, gotta keep it real. All right. Next up is an Alan Jackson vintage t-shirt. I let that go for $23. Then we have another bundle. It was a orange LuLaRoe top in a 3X. A Avenue orange print top um, in a size 24. And a LuLaRoe orange and yellow print top uh, 
3x that was a regular customer of mine i let those three items go for fifty dollars okay next up we have a, another bundle this is a bundle of a size 5x russell kemp animal print sheer top which was gorgeous and a cap i don't know how to pronounce that capstone black um like a graphic top um that was also a size 5x i let that go for 38 she was she was a sweetheart that lady um anyway okay so that went for 38 those two pieces both 5x next up is is a bundle it was a lularoe orange colored top a styling co green top a bohemian style top in a 3x elaine bryant uh very pretty brown bohemian top anyway i think she bundled four or five pieces i don't remember um that bundle went for 72 dollars next up is a another bundle it was uh two body suits one red one black both in size 3x that went for 35 dollars Next up is a Avenue kind of butterfly lightweight top in a size 24. This was gorgeous. Beautiful piece. That sold for 15. Then we have another bundle. It was a LuLaRoe Geo print top, a Grace and also a Grace Star print top. Both were size 2X that went for $35. Then we have another bundle. It was a squash blossom necklace plus a boho blue i believe it was a maggie barnes top um in a size 4x that went for 30 dollars you know what happened with this um i tend to take photos of my tops and dresses with the jewelry that i'm selling and i had this necklace and this um top together and she purchased them both because she liked the combination so that's a little bit of a tip if you're a poshmark seller you know you want to get rid of your jewelry style it style it with your clothes you know next up we have a maternity geometric print swimsuit that sold for ten dollars a ula popkin sheer uh boho style top that went for uh fifteen dollars Next up, we have a size 4X Catherine's cardigan that went for 20 and also a Catherine's uh, lace and blue dress that also went for 20 and a size uh, 28W, went to the same lady actually. Next up is a gothic style lace glove that went for 18 and then a western bohemian slide necklace that went for 15. Then we had a um, pair of gothic skull stud earrings that went for $10. A Kashyyyk lace cami. I think that was a size 4 or 5X. Very pretty cami. I think it was kind of vintage too because the tag was very old and it was new with the tag. So that went for $15. Okay. Next up, I had a six piece bundle. That sold for $75. One was a LuLaRoe piece. It was a brown and black top and a 3X. A JM collection top and a 3X. A Maggie Barnes uh, geometric print top and a 2X. Susie in the City abstract top and a 3X. A BLU or BLEU floral peach colored top. I think that was a 3X as well. And a purple animal print susan graver top that was gorgeous and a size 3x once again don't go crazy over brand style is what matters to a lot of people you know don't get me wrong brand is brand but sometimes you just you just like style don't go crazy over brand stop looking at tags you know if it's beautiful it's beautiful buy it you feeling it put it in your closet okay next up we have a uh black lace bodysuit size 2x that sold for $13 okay next up we have a purple LuLaRoe top in a size 3x that sold for 20 then we have another bundle it was a distressed uh shredded sweater in a size 1x and also an exhilaration cold shoulder top in a 2x um I think that bundle went for $20 and the LuLaRoe top I'm sorry went for 15 
Next up, we have a leather belt. It was vintage, came from uh, Nigeria. That sold for 15. Next up is a turquoise Southwest stretch bracelet. It was actually full turquoise. That sold for 15. A Avenue cropped gray jogger. That sold for 12. Next up is a indigo boho off the shoulder top and a 3X that sold for $10. A long vintage, like rustic type chain that went for 10. Dress barn top in uh, size 22, 24 that went for 15. Then we had a five piece bundle plus size. It was a JM collection uh, two piece top and a 3X, an Avenue green floral top and a 24, a Sonoma Paisley print top and a 3X. LuLaRoe Geometric Print Top in a 3X, Dress Barn Plus Size, Crop Joggers in a size 24. That went for $65. Next up, we have a pair of 7 for All Mankind Carson Lux Men's Jeans in a size 38. That sold for 18. A Animal Print Button Up Top in a size 5X that sold for 15. Vintage Tim McGraw T 15. ACDC Vintage Wash Van T 18. Charlotte Ruse Green Sweater 15. Sold a sweater in July. I'm a savage. Next up, a Jemmy Hendrix Van T size 15. Next up is a pair of plus size Hello Kitty pajama bottoms. Those sold for 25. A pair of North Face shorts, those sold for 10. Polo crop jeans, they sold for 10. Bucket of Blood tank, 10. Boho Indian silk sexy dress, um, that sold for 13. Next up was a bundle. It was a Lane Bryant brown boho top in a size 28. And also a Lane Bryant bohemian black and pink top. That sold for 28 as well. Next up, we have a five piece bundle. It was a ECI size 3X, very beautiful top. A Avenue sequence beaded top in a size 32. A LuLaRoe green and cream top in a size 3X. A black and silver LuLaRoe um, slinky long sleeve uh, top, not LuLaRoe. It was, I forgot the brand, but it was, it was a beautiful top. Um, black and silver. It was a size 5X that sold as well. And also a green LuLaRoe long sleeve top in a size 3X. I don't recall the price of that bundle, <laughs> but I'll put it up there. Okay, next up we have a, pay, a pair of uh, Adriana Goldsmith uh, graduate uh, jeans, men's, uh, that sold for 18. A Boston proper, new with tag, sexy cam cami. In a medium that sold for nine a pair of refuge distressed jeans in a size 14 that sold for 10 a aldo's tote um new without tag that sold for 25. then we have another bundle it was an embroidered croquet croquet embroidered crochet plus size tank in a size 1x a turquoise beaded necklace i believe it was vintage and also a very pretty tie-dye cold shoulder top. That bundle sold for $35. Next up was a pair of Banana Republic jeans, size 31, that sold for 10. Liz Claiborne black joggers, they sold for 13. A red uh, Anthropology Mave top, I think it was a size extra small or small, that sold for $8. Then we have another bundle. Lane Bryant uh, cropped flare leg pants, a Karen Scott gray and white striped hoodie, and also a uh, pair of Kashyyyk plus size pajama bottoms. That bundle sold for $30. Next up, we have a Coco Club tank that sold for eight, a pair of Hudson flat pocket jeans that sold for eight, a black and white uh, Croft and Barrel top in a size 3X that sold for 13. A Blue J. Crew popover top sold for six. Levi's 415 relaxed bootcut jeans in a size 30 sold for 10. Madewell Whisper um, Burnout Tee that sold for 10. Then we have a squash blossom necklace in a blue color that sold for 10. 
another squash blossom necklace uh, in a brown color that's sold for 20 a beautiful plus size floral uh, top in a size 4x button down that's sold for 10 a Maggie Barnes size 4x polka dot top that's sold for 15 a pair of Lucky Brand jeans that's sold for 8 Levi's 569 loose straight jeans that's sold for 8 an Avenue black semi pleated skirt in a size 24 that's sold for 15 a Alex Taylor 20W career vest I think that's sold for 15 as well a elephant necklace that sold for six. Then we have another bundle. It was a three piece. It was a Liz and Me sequence top in a size 28, a Catherine's Christmas sweater in a size 28W, and a Catherine's Purple Terry um, popover top in a size 28W. Uh, that bundle sold for 55. Next up, we have a, another bundle. It was a four piece that sold for $40. That was a green cable and gauge uh, keyhole top in a size 3X, a fashion bug pink striped shirt in a 32W, a Jones of New York uh, cape coat, and also a Catherine's beautiful blue top with a uh, flower and sequenced embellishment to it in a size 4X. Again, that sold for 40, that bundle. Next up, I sold a Mashimo a cable knit chunky sweater for eight a pair of guest shorts that looked vintage but were not that sold for eight a pink floyd uh vintage pig t-shirt went to a regular customer um that sold for twenty dollars that was a 2x next up we have another bundle it was two lula row tops two different types of blueprint I let those go when I was running my uh, buy one, get one free. So someone picked the both of those up. They were XLs for $25. Next up is a Plus Moda animal print top button down that sold for $18. A LuLaRoe mustard colored dress that had some wear to it. That was in a 2X that sold for $20. Next up, we have another bundle. It was a black beaded Maggie Barnes top in a 4X and a avenue floral um very pretty boho style top in a size 32 someone also picked that up when i was running my buy one get one free sale so they got the two of those for 25 dollars then we have a pink and white lula roll dress it was polka dot that sold for 35 it was in an xl a maggie barnes plus size top 5x that sold for 25 it was a very pretty blue top a zion rootswear bob molly uh, graphic tee that was a 1x that sold for 15. then we had another bundle of two graphic t-shirts both size extra men's extra large um it was a rolling stones t-shirt and a leonard skinnard t-shirt two of those went for 48. Next up, we have uh, a very beautiful LuLaRoe piece from the Elegant Collection. It was a kind of blue and silver and an XL, new with tags that sold for $40. A uh, very sexy plus size um, black skirt in a 3X that sold for 15. Then we had a Catherine's size 4X long sleeve purple shirt that sold for $10. And then we had another bundle that sold for 30. It was a bohemian top in a size 5X, a LuLaRoe Joy Duster in a size large, and a pair of LuLaRoe tall and curvy leggings in a very nice color. That bundle sold for $30. And then we had a just my size gray plus size top in a size 28W that sold for $12. And that brings us up to speed. I'm gonna put right there the total to what I made um, Poshmark again from the last month of March from the last week of March until August 3rd okay so that's what it is <laughs>